How's it going guys? If you're anything like me, you've got a 30 year old RX-7. Got no idea the last time the transmission fluid was changed. Got no idea the last time the diff was serviced. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get the uh, transmission oil changed and we're gonna get the rear differential oil changed. And a uh, pretty simple process. You can do it for about uh, 115, 125 bucks um, with a quality oil. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into what we got and uh, walk you guys through the process of how to do it. And luckily it's, it's pretty simple. It's just like changing your oil, which we're also gonna be doing. All right, so for everything here, we're using Redline oil. Uh, we've got some MT90 for the transmission. And then we're gonna do 75W90 for the rear end and then 20W50 for the engine oil. And then we just got an OEM Mazda filter and then some new crush washers because we're gonna reuse the existing hardware. The only other item that you're really gonna need to have on hand is some type of pump or some contraption they're gonna use to pump the fluid in just because of the confines. Not, you're not gonna be able to use these jugs as is. Uh, so we went ahead and I've got like a 599 Harbor Freight hand pump um, that is gonna work just fine for this. Um, and you can just go ahead and grab one of those, use it. Gear oil smells terrible, so you can throw it out afterwards if you want to. But everything that I use to do this job, I'm gonna put in the video description, uh, just so you guys know where to go for this stuff, what you're gonna need, and it's just right there and easy. So look at that if you're just coming in and you don't know what you need yet. Otherwise, we're gonna get the car up on jack stands and uh, start working on it. All right, so we got the car jacked up here. Now, an important clarification, just, just to make sure you're aware of this. For the rear end, you're gonna need a 23 and a 24 millimeter. 23 is usually not included in socket and wrench sets. It's a little bit of a specific size and I have no idea why. So I actually had to go and grab one from Eric, but just keep that in mind uh, when you're getting set to do this. Um, all of our socket sets and everything go from 22 to 24. All of our wrench sets went from 22 to 24 uh, with no 23 in there and you are gonna need a 23. All right, we're under the car here. This is gonna be your drain plug right here. This is 24 millimeters. And then this is the fill plug, 23 millimeters. If you're wondering what this tag is for, that indicates that this is an LSD. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna crack open and take out the fill plug. And once that's out, we're gonna pull our pan here underneath the drain plug, crack that open and take that out. And um, we're gonna let it drain. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. And then we'll get our assembly set up to pump in the fluid here. We'll show you what I'm using for that. All right guys, so if you haven't worked with it before, gear oil is pretty nasty. Uh, the smell will linger if it gets on anything you own. So, gonna be wearing gloves for this, got a rag ready. This here is the 599 Harbor Freight pump. This has an inlet and an outlet. This is your inside, your outlet side. Comes with two hoses here. You can put one of these hoses down into the bottle, hook it up to the inlet side. Then you're gonna hook a hose on the outlet side, stick that into the top of the diff. Uh, and the fill hole after reinstalling the drain plug. <laughs> and then uh, you're gonna sit there and you're just gonna hand pump that in until it starts coming out of the fill hole. We'll let the excess drain off there a little bit, clean it up, and then put the fill plug in, and there we go. So we'll get under the car and get working on that. All right, so there we go. We're just gonna let that drain out for the time being. And uh, we'll go ahead and get these plugs cleaned off and get our new fluid ready. Now, well, it doesn't hurt to take a look at what you have left over in your diff. Um, this is our existing drain here. Just got some nastier stuff on the drain plug. Otherwise, we do have some new 18 millimeter crush washers. So we're gonna go ahead and pull off the old crush washer, clean this up a little bit more, just wipe some of that gunk off of it, anything you picked up on the ground. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pull out our new 18 millimeter crush washer. We'll just throw that on there and reuse the existing drain plug. And there we go. Everything's done draining. We'll go ahead and reinstall this. Back under the car here. You can see we still have a little bit of drain out of the, the bottom here. Um, 
clearly not a lot of fluid left so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up and get the plug back in here You're just gonna get these snug. Don't wanna go crazy on it, but just, you know, get it hand tight. Or what you would consider very hand tight, I suppose. Just enough to get that washer squished down. You don't wanna go too far and end up tearing stuff up. You're gonna just feel that out. Now we can go ahead, crack open one of our bottles here. And we're gonna stick one end of the hose in it. And then the other end of the hose, we'll just stick it right up in there, and uh, we'll start hand pumping it in. Should we have our inside right here? Should we get that correct hose in the jug. Also, gonna wipe off any junk I picked up on the hoses before I stick them in anything. Okay, then get our outlet side, clean that sucker off, junk on it, I'm going to come up here, and we're going to stick it up in the rear end. Now you might have to hold it, we'll see if this works. And it holds itself, but obviously you don't want gear oil flying everywhere. So we'll see what happens as we start pumping it in. Okay, so you can see there, we got some fluid coming out of the end. So let's go ahead and pull this out and see if we've put a little too much in there. Now it looks like some of that's going to come from just stuffing that in and kind of blocking off the um, the exit path, so to speak. So, good thing to watch out for here. Um, probably could have tried that a little bit earlier and seen if that had an impact, but we're gonna let that drain any excess out and then uh, move on to putting the fill plug back in. Let's chill down some. Go ahead and clean that off a bit and then get our, uh, our plug back in there. Then same thing, we're just going to tighten this up enough to, to feel snug and comfortable about it not coming out. So just cleaning everything up behind it with the drain. Alright, so that's pretty much it here. I did check, this takes about 1.3, 1.4 quarts. Uh, so you won't need the 2.5 I mentioned earlier, it's just going to be two bottles um, and just barely really so that's really all you're gonna need for that so it's gonna reduce the cost a little bit based on my original assumption but um, that's pretty much it so we'll get wrapped up here and head up front to the transmission let's move around the transmission you're gonna need some kind of adjustable wrench for the fill plug and then uh, we're gonna be using the 24 again for the drain plug uh, fill plug is just a square head so anything you can do to get on that to wrench it out um, whether that be an adjustable wrench or something like this or you're just like a slip wrench something either way whatever works so we're gonna get under there and uh, crack that open all right so fill plug right here like you said that's our square end fill plug it's right on the side here uh, it's gonna be a 14 at least for me that fits that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get a 14 on here and give it a couple bumps with the hammer, see if that pops it loose for us uh, without too much of a hassle. There we go, we're getting some rotation now. So we should see some fluid come out here. That'd be a good sign. We should have some, some fullness to her. There we go, the drain plug out, no biggie. No fluid coming out, but not necessarily a terrible sign. 
So we'll go ahead and pop the drain out now and uh, let that drain out. Sweet. That was hand tight. So we need to bump it. Okay. Go ahead and let that drain. Get these plugs cleaned up and uh, we'll prep the pump up the same way with the different fluid there. And uh, should be good to go. We're all done draining here. Let's see, we got a little, a little bit left. As always, it seems. But we'll go ahead and get this kind of cleaned up, get our plug back in. And uh, we'll go ahead and start filling the trains. That's back in. We'll go ahead and get our hose routed up here. But I'm gonna change around my light source so we can see a little bit better. But same deal, just gonna get our pump ready, stick it in a bottle, put it up there, start pumping. pumps there we go and we have reached our fill point go ahead and get this fill plug in so we'll just kind of clean this stuff off it's gonna trip a little bit but Call that good. Get another draining out of here. That's always good. Just clean that stuff up. But I think otherwise, we're good to go. And we'll move on to the engine oil now. If you made it this far, might as well watch me do an oil change. Although I'm sure many of you um, have no issue doing that yourself. But we'll walk through it either way. Because it's got to get done. There's our oil filter right back there. Should be able to get a regular wrench or something to it. Um, to pop that off. We'll do that once. We've got the oil pan drain, which is going to be right down there. So we'll slide under, pull the plug out, and uh, then we'll come up top and crack that open. All right, got our new drain plug here. M14 by 1.5, case it was runner. So we'll go ahead and get into the car, wrench that back in, and uh, Get a royal filter in the top. Okay, we'll go ahead and get that put back on the car. Pop the whole cap off, start filling with the well. All right, so this should take about 6.1 quarts. Um, obviously, once we get, once it's in there and we start it up and run it, we'll see where it lands us, but we'll just check the engine level. Fill it up, give it a couple minutes, check the engine level. Probably use a little bit more. Just a splash. Yeah, we're good. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Now we got new fluid for the rear end, transmission, and in the motor. Like I said, all the tools, fluids used in this video will be linked below in the video description. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. We're gonna be adding all these videos to a new playlist called On the Ground, which is gonna focus on the less than exciting maintenance tasks that we do on all the vehicles in the fleet and whatever else ends up in the garage. But other than that, guys, that's gonna be it for this one.